our scrabble corner and uh, today I'm coming to you with the a little uh, craft room tour so uh, this is my entrance uh, to my um, room um, and actually uh, as a normal house we would have been already outside do you know one of those um, sun uh, <sighs> Verands for the house, you know, that you are sitting on the patio. So, um, this is actually already outside a room, and the roof ends in here. Actually, the house ends in here. So, I'm kind of like in a summer, um, you know, summer, uh, what do you what do you call it? I don't know. Of course, when you're recording the videos, you cannot say a word, right? <laughs> so, a uh, previous owner of this house. Uh, build up this all uh, windows around and it used to be a gym room uh, for um, our family so they added the ceiling and everything uh, this is original fan that you can see in Florida houses on the patio so this is like sunroom basically that's why you see the gutters running around yes we are we have a waterproof system which ends up in an orange bucket right there so yes um, enough of spinning let me um, walk you so when I'm uh, coming into my room uh, on the uh, um, what on the left side I have this um, stack of the iris bins and I had it a long time uh, for a long time and it holds um, the first row, the first column, um, holds all the papers. The second uh, row holds embellishments, wood embellishments, butterfly, metal embellishments, flowers, uh, meshes, tools, you know, stuff like that. Um, this is actually the, uh, the door to the backyard okay so and uh, this is under roof uh, and uh, uh, so everything in here is actually uh, water safe per se um, right there I have like a couple old books and dictionaries just in case if I want to print on there you know old books and etc some floral um, arrangements in there you know that I picking up on sale on clearance whatever I could uh, this is uh, the ship the shabby chic ship um, you know I like funky animals uh, this is the picture of my mom and dad my dad passed away a long time ago uh, so uh, this was a DT project by uh, crafty cookie Terry hi Terry um, so she was one of the first ladies who I was talking on YouTube uh, and she was kind of, you know, a kind to respond and give me a heads up and uh, share her uh, tips and, you know, what's not. Uh, then down, uh, going down, I have some of the creations that were gifted to me and this long uh, tail is uh, one of the thrift store finds okay so while I have you here on the wall on this back wall per se um, that's how it looks so um, this is all glass doors you know house glass doors behind this and behind this uh, in both parts we put that pegboard uh, on the uh, window frame or door frame and uh, on this one we, we uh, mounted several plastic um, shelves and uh, we using just the metal brackets you see right there you see um, and then my honey made me couple racks for my punches and on the bottom I have these two uh, drawer cases that um, I picked up at Joann's 
and this is my kind of like little display area um, this dress form was gifted to me by my uh, local friend Paula Paula Massey hi sis she's my American sis number two the other is uh, from up north the first one Sue um, and uh, starting on the shelves I got uh, again some floral you know peaks and embellishments there uh, there is um, to do Tim Holtz clock um, advent calendar I always wanted to make one this is the box from Va Hi Va uh, and some you know uh, birds and you know some stamp and what's not you can see it so second shelf um, here's um, Michelle's uh, Michelle Pipeline's uh, album with the gorgeous girls behind there are jars that are full of uh, different assortments of metal buttons uh, chains you know that I picked up junking so this is the Christmas tree uh, with the legs that I'm supposed to finish so it's sitting in here uh, this was gifted to me by um, Marla H and I still have some goodies in there um, so um, yeah and um, teacup I like teacups this is a little tea potty station a pile of buttons then some recollections buttons this was gifted to me and made by Zucchini Kitty Karen. Hi, Karen! Um, NSK uh, Pearl um, letters were gifted to me by Artie, who is one little dreamer um, here on YouTube. And these two boxes, this holds some uh, pearl strand, strand pearls that I picked up in Michael's, you know, on sale. And this one has Tim Holtz metal, just a little bit. So I'm gonna need to kind of. I like the I like the boxes anyway. So uh, that's that. And in here I have assortments of different things. Uh, this was gifted to me by Lisa. Uh, so this um, some of those are purchased. This was gifted to me by Lily. Um, this red one I think was gifted to me oh but uh, Luisa or Karen because here we got uh, uh, Karen uh, Luisa and, and me um, so uh, some of these um, um, chunky charms were made by uh, Mary and um, Virginia so, uh, and uh, this was made by Marlene. Hi, Marlene. If you're still watching YouTube, she, she quit YouTube. But, um, yeah, look how cute. So, it's just a little, you know, um, hanging station. Um, and, uh, you know, some stuff from Luisa. Those are Japanese uh, things. This is from Irina. Um, the passion um, for craft okay um, so with a boring part um, and I have uh, metal shelves all along that wall and as you see I have iris bins uh, I love using iris bins because uh, first of all you can kind of see through um, then they keep in everything dust free and it's e really easy to maintain and I can make the labels for each bin if I rearrange and I forget but basically I know what's what um, this iron iris beans this is an SK store not all of it but this is an SK store so and all the you know like um, trims laces everything I'm keeping everything wrapped there are pearl trims 
um, this is the hearts box um, like uh, this is the um, heart shaped pearls this is the brooches and the brooches and stuff like that so um, this is uh, stamens and sprays um, the ceramic flowers, the little pearls, the rabbits, the gorgeous girls, resin pieces, the uh, embellishment kits, and on and on and on. Um, this iris bean uh, starts with Prima, three, three drawers of Prima, paper, embellishments, tags, you know that's all in here and graphic 45 to uh, the paper and embellishments and tilde one drawer so and in here uh, so here you see uh, some handmade um, loaded envelope for drinks for me too uh, and uh, some um, journals in there in here I have fibers and ribbons and in these drawers I have like foams, chim boards, grunge board, manila card stocks, canvas, you know, um, sheets and, and canvas, specialty papers, uh, like tethered angels, you know, like Mr. Balls, uh, this is plastic transparency albums and books, albums and books and uh, these guys are also an SK store um, so some an SK store some cards to say thank you notes and this is the um, pack of uh, papers so yeah all right in here I have um, plastic container here with uh, um, laces and trims you know like ribbons like that uh, some seam binding so I can always pull that uh, basket out and um, look for something um, this pocket a double-sided pocket hanger I love using that and it holds my to go to uh, flowers and floral sprays and stuff like that and I have two um, zipped uh, double-sided again uh, hangers with some uh, tinky winky embellishments like buttons you know metal embellishments in here you know some different stuff this is like my personal stash okay of stuff that I would go okay so that that was this part of the room um, so and these two shelves ah uh, so we'll start on top this is the trio of the boxes that I bought at TJ Maxx and this uh, round one, the lower round one, was gifted to me by um, Janet. This box was made by D. Elegant embellishments. Hi, D. Uh, so it holds. Uh, this one holds a rosette trims. This and this holds uh, appliques, like beaded appliques, wedding appliques, and etc. Those are two rolls of uh, washi tapes, okay? This uh, bushy tail wedding from the wedding dress was uh, gifted to me by Artie. Um, and uh, this uh, dream uh, wooden plaque was made by Trisha, a little shabby chic. In these two containers, I have... Um, in this one I have washi tapes and they are in the plastic containers I don't know if you can see but I don't want to pull it out so inside there there are two plastic containers 
Uh, this box um, has uh, junk metals, brooches, you know, that what I found thrifting. Um, in here I have embossing folders, so that's that. Uh, the second row of the bins, again, everything, the containers I picked up at uh, TJ Maxx. Yeah, so in this one, I have two iris bins and they hold black laces, you know, fabrics, laces, everything black. In this one, I have all sorts of, but for majority, it's wild or orchid craft roses, uh, flowers, I'm sorry, not only roses, different flowers. Here's my favorite baggie. I love it. Thank you, Christine. Um, so, and this is uh, the gift from Va that I just recently received. And uh, Va's banner goes right here, so it's perfect. And in uh, this bin, I have uh, colored laces and trims like everything pink blue and everything and they are in ziploc bags uh, sorted by color so greens you know reds pinks and etc so that's the bin um in uh, this one uh this type of containers i picked up a long time um and those and target okay so at uh, this um has a tag fancy um, fancy um, trims and what it mean what it means um, the ones that are like really uh, like interesting looking um, you know or you know like pleated or stuff like that so that's what I have with those laces. In here I have another narrow box of black laces. And in here I have pearl trims. Uh, this is box of uh, box of the washi tapes. It's just landed there. Okay, so in here I have you know just different beads, you know, like a pearl trim, mash. You know plastic and this is my personal stash okay so all right so um this shelf uh holds uh cream and white laces and trims cotton you know whatever so all different ones and on the very bottom it's all stamps and I have um, like um, this box. It says, you know, stamps Halloween, Thanksgiving, wooden stamps, blah, blah, blah. Um, in here, I this uh, three folders, I bought, someone was distashing those. So I bought those. And I have in one of them Tim Holtz stuff. And in two of them mixed media, you know, kind of like tiny houses and stuff like that so uh this folder holds green farms and saturated uh, canary uh this you would assume prima this one holds something else <laughs> and this one holds it's already not really a uh, prima and glitz i just didn't mark it um, so it's probably inches, stipendos, lost and found, you know, stuff like that. Um, this is a collection of La Blanche stamps. I have just a few. Um, and in here, it's a pile of whatever. Uh, so you see, like, uh, matte mediums, gesso, mod podge. Uh, this is the light table on the back there is the machine that punches the holes the book binding punch this is digital files from KSP with Luisa 
I organize each um, um, you know each uh, collection in the folder uh, digital prints, digital prints. This is um, was uh, whatever online classes I was taking, and there is nothing because I still didn't finish them. Some of the books, you know, bow binder, and in that metal bucket there, I was thinking I'm gonna use it for spray painting, but I'm not, so I need to get rid of it really. Dehumidify because. I am outdoors. <laughs> I need to keep my room, uh, you know, in uh, forty-five uh, percent of humidity, and that's why I have this huge dehumidifier. And the other was Mitsubishi over the door, big uh, um, air conditioning. So this is the basket of the glues. This is just standing here drying out. Um, I have a couple bins of uh, die cuts like this, probably four of those and I never use in those really. So here are the example. I think I'm gonna use, oh this is extra, um, you know, magnet plates for the new ones and I kind of sort them out by this would be just circles, ovals, you know, um, you know, like decorative frames, but something shaped like circle or oval. Okay, so that's that. Um, and I don't have all of them, like some of the girls, because I'm not really crazy using them. Um, here is the next one. This one uh, holds. Um, and I didn't even use the um, the magnet so much in here. So this is memory box, one of those dainty, and they're tiny, guys. They're so tiny. So I think I just stashed a bunch of them uh, because I'm not using them that much. You know, heart shapes. Um, you know, I when I this is like from the beginning of the time okay. um, these guys um, I'm using sometimes in the drawers because they are great dividers for uh, for my metal um, and I can show you in a second this is embossing folders they didn't fit because they are like larger the size than it was upstairs you know it didn't fit in that bin so like just few I I just stashed the most of them but I kept the ones that I might be able to use for the card making I have a couple card stands um, in um, in town here and um, so I I make like just simple cards what's not because people don't want to pay crazy money for a card anymore so uh, going on the last shelf from the bottom so we saw all the digital files and you know all this mess the resins glues and etc so this couple items that I still didn't find home this is my Copic and distress markers and uh, those are the um, who knows what they are but when I saw it was looking so cool, so I bought them. I can't even turn. Clean color. I don't know. Anywho. Uh, this, we all know, this came from Michaels, especially when they were on sale. So um, this holds some spray mists. Uh, this is acrylic paint. Uh, some more um, spray, uh, you know, Lindy's. And you see it's coming undone. Uh, some, you know, paste and what's not. This doesn't hold much. <laughs> uh, this doesn't hold much. Uh, this actually holds alcohol inks. I know what holds alcohol inks. So that then 
this holds I just you know things like that brushes and stuff and you see this comes out and this one holds embossing you know powders and why I'm keeping the empty bottle who knows all right uh, this shelf is all about tools and mixed media and paste and stuff so I have a bunch of stuff in here wax paper gloves and the tissue paper um, this is all the uh, you know stamping tools rollers um, you know these tools and stuff like that uh, that's where usually I'm lending my score tapes but this too um, containers holds inks distress regular and embossing you know like power embossing pads uh, this is just newly developed um, shelf and this is for the misc mink mink for the mink I didn't try it yet truthfully guys so but it the shelf is good you know everything looks good I need to hook it up and just try it and the shelf is deep enough so it will run that shit you know back and forth so that should be good uh, in these containers I have some glues you know gl glue sticks um, molds clay sponges you know just brushes stuff like that uh, this one holds I think uh, um, mistables, you know, um, like mistables stuff, like alphabets, chipboard, and stuff. Um, this is my still working project. This is two empty tags and like junk scraps, like um, stamps, uh, you know, something that you would use for junk journal, you know, whatever. This is just whatever little thing this is the flag from Mizzou that's where my son goes he brought it to me as a gift and um, in this uh, small doilies um, larger doilies fabric uh, this one uh, holds hankies what did I put in there Oh, it's uh, boxed jewelry pieces. This is small doilies and, and larger doilies. So this like a doily cabin. Okay. So uh, let me move in here back. I hope we're doing okay there. Oh, I'm out of breath. So uh, hi, my honey and I, we built this desk. Um, all the way around the window area okay and I'm um, opening the blinds you know during uh, the day halfway because Sun is really hot in here and it's gonna dry out everything so if I need more light I definitely can have it but um, this blind always stays closed because I have as you remember in here I have all the um, um, mixed media items and I don't want them to be straight on the Sun okay uh, this is the photo cube where I'm taking the pictures of the products you know and my projects and etc um, this is half metal shelf that we cut to the size to fit and it holds um, the gifts that I can display this three shelves uh, they holding um, a bunch of gifts from um, ladies uh, this one holds this is a large scanner Epson it scans a big sheet of paper so um, I absolutely love it uh, my husband is um, a fanatic of good tools 
he has his workshop um, you know he loves working with the tools so and if I need something he's doing research and buying it for me so uh, he did the research and he found that this one is the best there was on the market I'm sure there is now it's quite old already um, you know how it goes um, this one is a Canon professional uh, printer and it prints as well large size uh, why I had large size um, it can print um, larger than 12 by 12 uh, because originally I was scrapbooker and I was doing digital scrapbooking at some point and I wanted to be able to print my own designs without ordering them to print in the shop so that's why I wound up with this piece of equipment and it eats in like it eats it so it's expensive but that's where I'm printing my, all my digital images and etc so underneath of this desk so it's actually like there is no desk it's just holding up the space for something else I have another iris bins all the way around there is enough room for legs and it holds uh, this one is card making this one is NSK uh, paper uh, supplies this one holds glitters uh, floss yarn uh, sequins um, so flock and etc this is uh, my stuff bin uh, where I'm dropping things you know when I'm uh, crafting my vagabond so I'm getting it out when I need it this is the rolling tool and I have all my beads and you know metal charms and etc right in there uh, when I'm inking so here's my Tim Holtz uh, thing uh, holding the pads and this is just I picked up at thrift store um, I'm you know putting stuff in there when I'm working on the projects as well and that's my chair so yeah well let's get there on my desk so that's my chair underneath I have another three iris bins holding some office supplies, refills, a work in progress projects, kits that that needs to be the stash, you know, and as well as this this is all paper. So uh, this is my um, ergonomical uh, pad, the keyboard, um, and mouse. It's a lifesaver. I can tell you that with a carpal tunnel so that is my desk my laptop and my second screen I'm working off of two screens it's very helpful I can tell you that uh, this is the new location for my tripod I haven't hear anything from you guys about how my videos are so this is my working area where I am crafting for the most part uh, on my right it's office slash uh, my candy station I relocated that here's my aging tool I'm officially old right officially old um, so yeah just little things um, and it's kind of like interchanging and I love crystal so um, it's all crystal this candy dish my mom sent to me she's uh, she you know she was feeding me from crystal you know what since I was little so that's it I'm blaming it on her <laughs> so um, this little um, um, station candy station I love it with the gold uh, polka dots um, really cute this one we just picked up recently shopping with Janet and Louisa 
this is my um, I love this um, uh, work hard um, be kind good reminder hot lips my nickname made by Janet this is my cell phone charger so that's that okay uh, above me I had like a floral basket but I recently changed it on this bird cage which I picked up at the thrift store and I have my birdies in there so and some you know charms and stuff like that so on that side of my desk on the left side of of me it's candy station slash working station this is a puzzle it's not hooked up and I haven't been using it in the longest time uh, this is the pre princesser uh, of Cricut okay so that's my candy station here's Louise's creation that's us when we were shopping and you know th this is like Easter right um, and here's my uh, tiny sewing machine that I won in one of the local crops so there is just little magnet this is actually like four drawer office uh, thing okay we already came all the way around to the door with the um, air conditioning uh, running in there so the first is office uh, papers medical bills etc the second one is um, all the instruction sheets for all my equipment you know cameras and etc oh I have another um, uh, printer right there and this is office printer that I'm printing uh, you know the labels and etc and this is a doggy door so the pops going in and out here so sometimes you can hear them um, so coming back to the uh, uh, this in here I have all the sorts of stickers labels what's not um, alphabets, baby, birthday, borders, Christmas, flowers, Halloween, family, love, and that sort of things. I was starting to kind of distension it, but then uh, everything kicked in with the loaded envelopes and we started back on the embellishment. Uh, this is all uh, like a bags, you know, packing material. Uh, the file folders, you know, stuff like that. All right. So, uh, and this one I already showed you from the beginning, right? So you should know that one. So, yeah. All right. So, um, let me uh, turn around and insert the pictures of what my room was looking I didn't I didn't take the pictures per se uh, how it was before I had the metal shelf right in here the same metal commercial shelf in here standing right underneath of this fan and I had in front of it plastic table and I had the rolling uh, stand on the other side of the metal shelf and I have the pictures of Lily coming over um, when she was visiting um, here in Florida with all of us and I will insert these pictures right here how it used to look So now that you've seen this, you know, tower in front of us, uh, so watching uh, Marlene uh, G, Marilyn G, uh, she just re redid her room and um, I rushed, I actually was thinking I'm going to be changing the back, but then I thought I don't need to change the back wall really much. 
but I definitely need more working space because if you have noticed all the surface table surface is occupied I mean I can clear up this but then I don't have anything to work with you know like I have you know I have to have the products that I'm gonna be working with in order to work and the desk should be clean just in case if I will get an order because I need to push everything aside and you know put the order together print the label and etc so I was pressed not so much on storage which was uh, Marilyn's problem uh, I was pressed on the working surface empty working surface so we went to IKEA and picked up these two pieces of furniture and they are about waist high so I can stand in here and record my videos and work while standing and that's also helpful because sitting um, is the killer for all of us crafters we know it and uh, so yeah and then on top of that it's white and it 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 worked magical m miracle the whole room opened up um, this for this is two pieces of furniture so I think total cost was about 550 for two pieces of furniture and we were supposed to assemble it which we did and you can purchase additional for like twenty dollars the tempered glass so perfect I mean perfect um, so this um, and I filled up all the drawers really quickly this holds like um, quickie tools you know like sanding the glues glue sticks uh, rulers this holds some um, journaling you know some painting the coloring books stuff like that uh, this is larger drawer that's all my uh, dies they all fit in here wonderful and this one is a pile of the tools as well so my cutting board my uh, hot knife uh, the um, whatever they the punch board the pinwheel punch board then um, the um, stencils for mixed media the wax paper the big crocodile crocodile and the plates for vagabond so that's worked out really really nice this drawer belongs to NSK and I have the trims in here This drawer belongs to NSK and it holds meshes. This drawer belongs to Prima Flowers. Yay! Is there music like that heaven one? The heaven one? I need to put like, a, you know, like something, you know, when it opens up, it plays that music, heaven, heavenly music. Prima! And this one, uh, wild orchid crafts and, you know, other flowers. So, yeah, I have like three places with the flowers. All right, um, this is just recent swap that I received for Easter. This is um, Luis's wands and some pans. And I picked up this um, cups in the um, um, TJ Maxx. Hello Sunshine, and this one has Miss, o Miss Always Right, I'm always right. This wax is uh, that Irina sent me from Japan, from Daiso. This is for your cups, so I'm coming in with a cup of tea and I'm dropping perfectly. This is an escape tool, I know, but it's sitting in here because it's such a shabby colors and I love I love them. Nobody buying it, but I love them. 
so this is my kind of like drop station um, and this one empty it used to hold the um, uh, the glitters and stuff but I didn't find anything to put in here yet so let's go through these drawers this is my office stuff like a note pads uh, this was what made by MJ um, you know like all my papers stickers stamps so that's that this one is all notepads and books um, I didn't get into it yet I'm always late to the party this is an escape doilies so it's you know slash office slash you know this is an escape laces uh, this is an escape product I know look at this yumminess I don't know nobody buying anything people we are getting closed up um, the April is the last month and I'm going on a summer vacation long vacation this is uh, you know wrapping papers bags the um, you know the um, envelopes that's my you know to go baggies this I brought from Japan I love it it opens up with another baggie cute cute and this is where my puppy is sleeping you know sometimes when I'm crafting this is my office folders you know um, my banking my business you know and my uh, health folder and this is all well I stuck here the puzzle stuff the mats from puzzle uh, but um, this is mixed media didn't fit but this is all supposed to be the uh, project life you know type of stuff you know envelopes and etc so that's that so yeah I guess that's it right and on the uh, with the lights it doesn't look pretty I would love to have chandelier but um, I cannot have chandelier because it doesn't throw enough light so I have these two commercial lamps and they are giving quite a bit of light so anyway this is you know here's close up of the um, stuff that's been gifted to me by so many of you love it right so that's it right that's it so I love it so that's my um, opened up room with my wonderful table and if I'm sitting here down here's my pops looking at the window and saying mommy mommy and on that note I should say goodbye because they are really important to me not that I don't like you guys but they are the most important thing all right um so anyway thank you so much for watching if I will forget to wish you a happy Easter so happy Easter and I'll talk to you later bye bye